And now, another shitty game. Oh, I got one more for you guys. I noticed it. Sitting there on my bad game shelf. Completely forgot I had it. And I figure since I got the old PS2 set up and actually all plugged in and ready to go, this would be perfect. Are you guys ready for the stylings of Frogger, The Great Quest? I don't think you're ready for it, but you have no time to prepare. So you just have to deal with it. Some pretty nasty reviews this game got. It doesn't, it does not look like people were kind to this game. So... Let's see, apparently this game is, is quite rare. <clears throat> Sorry, being a little cheeky. And yet, some people say the game is good. A few people in chat says it, say it's good. Some reviews apparently liked it. Um, but yeah, generally, it, it seems like on Metacritic, it, it's got like a 1.5 out of 5. Uh, disc. Read. Error. Uh oh. Wait, have I attempted this game before? And, and was there a discreet error previously? I wonder. No? That looks like it works. The PlayStation 2 rejected it. It was like, nah. No, I'm good. I'm good. Keep it out of me. Keep it out of Don't put that shit in me. You've already infected me with dogs and piss. And what else did I play today on the PS2? Dog game and vegetable game. Konami, huh? Well... Here's some more fuel for everyone in in the current trend of hating Konami, which, in my opinion, is pretty fucking well justified. But yeah, let this uh, <laughs> let this further perpetuate the fuck Konami thing. Look at his design, too cool. Let me show you how too cool that design is. You know what it reminds me of? Do I hear children laughing? You do not want to start a game with children laughing. Frogger's design reminds me of that. From Mac and Me. The, the alien from Mac and Me. And this is not a good thing. Why don't we just keep that there? What do you say? Fuck. 
Now you love, Frog. Okay, I guess. This can't be the only jambalaya being served, Lumpy. I want to zap new bugs, swim new streams, be frog loose and froggy free. What? And quit getting needled by that mosquito gang. But that world out there, he's <laughs> mosquitoes and gators. No, <laughs> is, is he from bad. New Orleans? To be I know stories make your skin crawl. I guarantee it. They from New Orleans. <laughs> I remember the time when... Uh, when did this become part of Frogger lore? So the mean old dragon was running alongside the lake after the princess to roast her up for supper when all of a sudden he slipped on this rock that was all frog slimy and stuff. His head hit a rock and he was killed just like that. Did the princess stop oh, running? Oh, the yep. graphics are terrible and these are cutscene graphics. And, all. and there on the rock next to its head sat a frog but she was so happy to see the dead dragon oh. she picked up the frog and kissed what? it. Poof! The frog turned into a prince. Come out, come out, wherever you are, you little slime bucket. What's the matter, you chicken? No, Hemo. You just <laughs> taste like one. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on to your hose and boys. What have we here? Oh, it's so ugly. <laughs> this is a PS2 game from 2001. Well, 2001, I guess, is around when the PS2 first came out anyway, so... But still, this is just awful. I like how, during this cutscene, there were frame... there's frame lag while the mosquitoes were on the screen. That's it! A wish upon a falling star! I wish I may, I wish I must... Find a princess before I <laughs> wish granted. <laughs> a fairy frog mother. Frog joggy, polly woggy folk. Someone has called me. I heard a crow. Come on, come on. I don't have all night, you know. What do you want from me, Wartlips? Can you help me find a princess whose kiss will turn me into a prince? <laughs> The frog gets three gifts to help his quest. One, you can see magic. This allows you to see the magical things and people in my world. Two, voila, a magic bag. And I don't mean me. <laughs> it may look small, but it can hold wow. just about anything magical. And last but not least, the most important gift, that of protection. Now you cannot die while in pursuit of this IP this got <laughs> fucked over the years, didn't wow. it? Fairy Frog Mother, I don't know what to say. Well, I'm off, good buddy. When I'm a prince, right by my castle, there will be a first class elegant Everglade with your name on it. I promise. Bonsoir. Be careful out there. Y'all come back, yeah. The only thing that's keeping me engaged in this stream. And in this game, are the gifts of Mac from Mac and me. <laughs> I'm looking befuddled at this game. Froger. <laughs> what is that funny? <laughs> Frogip. It's amazing what you could do by only changing two letters. Frogic. Look, I am your Frogic. Froggy. Yeah, I believe we've we've already seen that. So we can get right back. Into the exciting gameplay now.
Oof, the resolution. That's rough. Okay, immediately, Crash Bandicoot looks better than this. And that's a PS1 game. What? Can someone explain the acrobatics that I have just committed? The froggy shuffle. Did I just pull a wart out of my ass and throw it? Oh, I know, that's a spit. I have a spit move. Amazing game. <sighs> this is bad. Hello, Frogger. If you want to talk to the people you meet on your It says her name is Fairy Fairy Frog Mother. I thought it would be... I, I, I thought that I was just saying that as a joke. That's really what her name is. Look at this. Look at this glitch. When you jump next to a person, you, you glitch into them and you don't jump anywhere. I can't do it anymore. Love the sound effect when Frogger lands. So you remember Frogger's roots, which was a, a, a frog, just a regular, like, normal frog that was just trying to, like, cross the road and, like, not get hit by cars? Do, do you remember how now, um... Frogger is an anthropomorphized Pepe that looks like Mac from Mac and Me with pants, a bag that can jump, spit green, and make witty retorts. I, I am so happy with that sound effect though. I love that sound effect when Frogger like lands. It is, that is a fucking satisfying, meaty sound effect that is, like, juicy. It's like throwing a 20-pound bag of meat, wet meat, down on the, on the fucking cold pavement and recording it. I wouldn't think Frogger would weigh that much as to make such a fucking intense sound from a small jump like that, that he's not even landing that hard. game. FL Studio default kick hype. Let's see. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> that could be. That could be. Part of the sound effect could be the meat hitting the floor mixed with the default kick sound effect from Fruity Loops. What is that? Why am- what is this? What, why am I going through a wall? Did Frogger get confused about what he- what he could not do? Notice I can't duplicate that. There is a brief moment where Frogger is floating and not grabbing onto anything. There's only just that one sound effect for when you hit the ground. Search the area, you get the coins. To buy information. Oh. You use a but this jumping is just insanely sensitive. Has a 
They are usually worth more. This is a magic. Each. There are different types of magic stones. Save them in your magic box. You eat much. I'm assuming I don't have to think too much about any of this as I'm playing the game. Like. You know, like, get all the things, go to the next level, get all the things, go to the next level. Get all the things, go to the next level. Is that an albacore? Stop fucking following me around, dude. Very good. Now let's work. Walk over to and Wait. Didn't we do the jump already? Now work your oh, there's more jumping that has to be done. Yeah, Alright, I'll tell you what, what really annoys me about the jumping, is when you press the button, you don't jump right away. Frogger charges, depending on where he is. Like, he charges his jump a little bit. It's it's hard to explain, but it's not good. Get to that ledge from the Can I spit on my fairy frog mother? Quality game. Let this be my legacy. When I'm long dead and buried in the ground, this is what should be posted in GIF form or video form. This moment of me spitting into a frog lady's vagina while Mac from Mac and Me looks on from four different angles. This is my legacy. Excellent. Oh man, that was good. <laughs> Did you see that? That was cool. Use your frog foo. Okay. Hey, how the fuck did you get in here? You were just out there. Sidestep! This is a club. Walk next. You can also use the... This is a lock. You will need... Could you believe that it, she's telling me I need a key to op uh, open a locked door? Isn't that weird? Oh wow, I was stuck in there for a second. F Frogger's legs went through the floor. What is it with, like, long, unskippable tutorials in today's stream? Fuck. There's a sound effect that happens in this music that makes me want to punch this alien's eyes out. And it happens way too often. It, it, when it goes... See this 
jump. You can't make it unless you use your special that. glide ability. <gasps> While gliding, you can also turn. If you would, if you are falling from high. Good. <laughs> nice controls. Thanks, fish. Thank you. I just I killed the fish. That's good. I was hoping I could do that. That fish did not hurt me. He was just looking for a friend the whole time. That fish just well, now now that coin is going to be impossible to get, isn't it? Got it. <laughs> this game is, is is just uh in its own its own category. <laughs> it's it's really it really is in its own category. <laughs> the um, the jumping controls are so sensitive. I can't get up there. I hate it. I hate it. Holy fuck do I hate this. I hate to say this, but Larry Boy's controls were better. This is fucking atrocious. See, she's over there. Why did she make me jump here if she's over there? I wonder. All of that time, there is no point. Just close your eyes and listen to the sound effects. did this part of the tutorial. Oh, that's a nice slow climb speed. For maximum fun. It's like a fucking 30 second loop of a song. A number of annoying instruments are present. It's a mouth harp. 
whistling. The, the ooey thing. Yeah, it's funny because I, I got the tutorial stuff already. So what in the name of fuck am I supposed to be doing now? A am I not allowed to advance until until what? Until what happens? She's up there. The fairy frog mother is, is in an unreachable location. this again. Oh, I have a teleportation move. That's good. Thank God for the teleportation move. I don't know how I survived that. Uh, again, again. Look, guys, look at her face. She, she's willingly accepting all of this. <laughs> she. Was She's okay with this. Oh no. Oh. This is going to be one of the worst controlling games I've played in in 2 hours at, at least. At least 2 hours. So I can't get back up there, which means either t the tutorial is over, or uh, or I cannot advance any further in the game. I'm not entirely sure, but at this point I don't care. Let's just keep moving. This game controls is about about as well as the first time you dissected a frog in high school. Including the nausea. And I, I sure do love underwater swimming segments where there's a, a rapids rapids so that you can't actually control where you're going. Spitting underwater is fun. Having fun watching the game yet, guys? Yep. Yep. <laughs> so much fun. Good tech, good game engine.
I, I see coins as bothersome obstacles. Because of how incredibly unfun this game is to play. And how annoying the platforming and the controls are. The more coins I attempt to get means the more platforming I have to do. Which is contrary to what I want most in this game, which is to play the game less. Okay. Just fell. Just straight down, like a fucking bag of bricks. Like a wet fucking turd. Gotta complete at least a level. I've, I've done at least one level of, of every other bad game I've played today, guys. I can't... I can't not do... ...a level. Again, this is a cutscene. Look at the quality graphic upgrade. Between here and the actual game graphics. Very, very good cutscene. 49 out of 228 coins. <laughs> Excellent. Can I buy better controls at the shop? Positive the mosquito. Rolling Rapids Creek. I just bought Frogger. I don't know what that means. Did I buy the original Frogger? No, I, I literally just bought a picture of Frogger. He can also spit frog goobers. Bit frog goobers. Why is spit in quotation marks? Is it not? Sp is it not real spit? This game scares me. My frog begin to spit. <laughs> uh. <laughs> wow, I am surprised that I haven't played this one yet. I am curious about the next level. Just want to see what Bogtown looks like. I wonder if there's a lot of goobers here in Bogtown. But yeah, I think generally I'm, I'm more or less done with Frogger. Uh, I don't think there's a whole lot more I could, I could do in this game that would make me enjoy it any more or less. Remember, brother. Seek the bear's help. Okay, let's just... Oh yeah! Come to daddy! Talk excited! Are you kidding me? Guys, it's an Arnold Schwarzenegger parody. Look at this, this shitty mosquito! Look at the karate moves! Hey, stop that! Now... <laughs> now he's dead! So this is like a shanty town. There's a lot of goobers that live here. Uh, it's, 
it's weird because you'd expect more enemies for, from a game like this. I know it's early on, but... It seems like the point of the game is just to collect money. You're not so oh. Look at this this excellent combat. Yikes. Good combat, very good combat. It seems like the point of the game is to just run around, suffer. Uh, I added that part, but yeah, run around, collect coins so you can buy pictures. And, um, and every now and then, you get into an awkward kerfuffle with the mosquito. And it's weird, too, because, like, the hitboxes on the coins are very precise. Like, they don't magnetize towards you. You gotta be right on the coin's ass to get it. You gotta, like, touch that chunky ass. I, I definitely can see the whole game being just more of this. Which is sad. That's- that's really, really scary. That a whole game is like this. But, you know, maybe there's variety, maybe you get into a tank. Or maybe at some point you actually avoid traffic. Yeah, coins. Lots of coins. Why- why did I just sink completely all the way down to the bottom? No wonder this fucking franchise is dead. Alright. I've had enough. That's enough, Frogger. Um, I, I should read the back of the box. Frogger's back in full 3D. Explore the magical world of Frogger. Explore lush 3D environments. Well, you gotta be a lush to enjoy the game. Encounter mystical and terrifying creatures. Solve tricky puzzles and help your favorite frog in his greatest quest ever. Gr greatest. Frogger returns with an all new look, lots of cool moves, magic, and skills. Encounter over 70 curious critters. Evil insects, goblins, vampires, and other villainous, villainous varmints. <laughs> I, I didn't see any vampires, but we got lots of mosquitoes. Um, amazing worlds to explore. Muck through the murky marshes, race through the raging rivers, and discover dangerous dragon's lair. Combines exciting free roam exploration and platform action. It's a whole new way to play Frogger. Visit esrbead.org or call 1-800-77-blah-blah-blah for rating information. Can I call them and tell them to rate this game, like, off the market? So, that's... that's Frogger game. Raging Rivers. Raging Rivers, guys. I think we could lose the Mac now. You want me to call the number for ESRB? Yeah, I could do that. We gotta find out the uh, information. Verizon Wireless, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Announcement for switch 22-7. <laughs> Welcome to Verizon Wireless, your call cannot be completed as dialed. 
Please check the number and dial again. Announcement for switch to two. <laughs> well, there goes that. Uh, I could not call the ESRB and find out what the rating of this game is. Damn. I think this number is now defunct. Are there any other phone numbers on the back of this box? Let's see. Hang on. Let me check the instruction manual. Oh, there is no instruction manual. There's just a or an order form. This cost five dollars. Someone bought this game, and it says condition scratched. Ship date Tuesday, October fourteenth, two thousand fourteen. Wow, I've had this game that long. Jesus, it's been a while. All right. Well, we tried. Um, gonna take another quick break for a minute and um, I'm going to think about what I want to play next. I'm actually getting kind of tired so I might not be going too much longer um, and definitely not Final Fantasy 7 tonight. I think if I do Final Fantasy 7 I probably got one or two more streams left of that and um, last time I played it I defeated Emerald Weapon by cheesing him pretty hard with an under level party so now I have the master materials and all that so all I really have to do is ruby weapon maybe a few other little side quest things and then that's it and then we'll defeat Sephiroth so ruby weapon will be my next target and here's a thing um, there was someone that mentioned they thought it was the first time I had defeated emerald weapon ever that's actually not true I actually defeated emerald weapon when I was younger, but I did it with Knights of the Round and all the other materials. So I was able to defeat him by just overpowering him completely. But Ruby Weapon, I also defeated, but that was another cheese situation when I was younger. So this is the first time I've streamed Final Fantasy VII where I've defeated them. Like, the last time I streamed the game, I did not go for the weapons. So this is definitely exciting to be able to defeat these, these two like optional insane bosses for the first time on stream and to do so in a completely under leveled and cheesy way it's a lot of fun but um yeah no final fantasy 7 tonight so um stick around i'll think about what i want to do next is a good game so hope you enjoyed i guess today was a shovelware showcase guys so i hope you enjoyed it Definitely going to be some more Shovelware Showcase collection videos. So you can expect one of those soon. And also you can expect um, probably another two of those videos in the next few months, considering how much material I have. So uh, anyway, yeah, I'll be back in just a few minutes. So stick around. See you soon. <laughs>